Every time I get a new drone, I like to post a video like this one because I like the fact that I'm able to share my very first raw impressions with you guys, letting you know about how I feel about a certain drone, what features am I excited to check out first, how they perform for me, what I'm planning to do next, and generally just to share the emotion of flying with a new drone for the very first time with you all. So today's video is no different. I just got the Mavic 3 Fly More Combo in the mail this morning, just a couple of hours ago. And I was so eager to charge all the batteries and start flying so I can record my impressions and share them with you. With that being said, guys, I want to hear back from you. I want to know what you want to see with the Mavic 3 on this channel in the upcoming weeks. I have a lot of ideas, but I'm always open to your suggestions. So do let me know in the comment section below. Before we get to the video, in case you don't know, I'm currently running a 100,000 subscriber giveaway to celebrate this huge milestone that we're going to hit any second now. So if you want to have a chance to win some great prizes, including an Insta360 Go 2, a DJI Mini 2, and some other really cool prizes, check the link in the description to sign up for the giveaway, and I wish you the best of luck. Okay, we're ready to take off. It is quite windy, so we'll see how the Mavic 3 will cope against the wind. So let's go. I'm shooting 5K in 30 frames per second in normal color profile and everything is set to auto for this test i immediately see that i need to tweak my settings a little bit for my yo for my pitch all the gimbal settings but i will do that a little bit later i just want to see the quality first and uh, just take a look at the, my surroundings it is very very windy however as you can probably see, the sea is just beautiful. And of course I need to start recording, otherwise I will miss all of these beautiful views. So let's just start recording. I notice a little bit of latency on my screen when I fly. Um, however, I need to address the fact that just uh, the, the screen is just crystal clear. And I definitely don't like this yo, um, the, the play of the yo. It's just too smooth and uh, it has a lot of expo. So I'll need to address that um, as soon as possible. However, I am really loving, let me just disable the um, auto, the, the exposure warnings. Right. So. I did play a little bit with my yo smoothness, so I fixed it. And there is something that I want to show you here because it's it's really really beautiful. We have some strong wind warnings on the screen, but for now I don't I don't think it's a problem. I see the Mavic going down very very quickly. It's very impressive uh, because of of that descent speed. Uh, but check this out, this is the statue of Poseidon that I really like and I want to, to shoot a little bit. So I will go a little bit down so I can uh, do a little bit of a rotation around it. Now switch to cine mode because it is quite small. So I'll need to be very precise around it. And I have direct visibility with the drone from here, so check this out. That's just fantastic. You know what? I will switch now to slow motion and I'll try the 4K 120 because I think this thing will be even more impressive when you shoot it in slow motion. It is absolutely beautiful. You know what? I am going to now try to switch my camera to D-Log. So I can really test out the possibilities of this D-Log mode.
it is super flat they definitely need to add this lot that they uh, give you the chance to see how well exposed your image is let's switch back to photo mode now I want to take a few photos of this Poseidon statue and I'm really impressed by the battery life so far because it shows that we are on 84% so I'm just gonna go a little bit closer and uh, I see my drone so it's all good I'm not too close to the to the water yet so let's snap a few photos the best way to do it is if you catch a wave right when it hits the statue and take a look at this shadow I just wanna I wanna get this shadow from the side like this it's super crispy the quality is just insanely crispy on on my screen right now I'm really impressed by that I notice it a lot so let's just switch back to video I'm going to remove the D log for now I just want to see uh, how things will look like in normal color profile wow I can actually hear the drone I, I'm just so impressed by how how smooth everything is and I do get some warnings on my screen but for the most part everything is just insanely crispy and I love the fact that I'm shooting a normal color profile which normally I don't do uh, but I have the feeling that I will be doing that a lot more on this drone because of how good it looks straight out of the camera I think it's time to, to finally try the zoom camera. Let's uh, switch back to video and check out this area with the explore mode. So now 28 times zoom is supported. Let's start recording and start zooming. Two times seems great four times a little bit less I can already see how sharp the footage is but not in a good way seven times 14 times and now 28 times we can literally see if there is anyone on the balcony here on this uh, building we can see that and now if we go back Wow such a massive difference I really think this explore mode will actually come in handy sometimes when you want to take a look at the environment and you don't want to actually lose some of your battery life and you want to to see if it's worth going to that place you can use that zoom uh, but let's try it in the other direction one time two times I, I actually really like the look of the two times zoom I think uh, this will be the maximum zoom I use the four times yes but you start losing some quality so I'm not really sure about that seven times is good too I've seen some people using seven times zoom as well and it doesn't look that bad but 14 <laughs> it's just so so zoomed in and 28 you're already peeking through the windows of those people and you can see the vibrations because the drone has some micro vibrations, some jitters when it's staying in one place. So of course, uh, the image is moving around a little bit. So yeah, I'm I'm really quite impressed by this zoom. To be honest, uh, I know it's uh, something like a, li a little bit of a gimmick, but I think I'll be using it at least the two times zoom. I will use that's for sure. Uh, I I really like that. So I'll disable this. Go back to normal video just record a little bit more of these waves because I just think they are really impressive looking today I, I like this weather a lot when it's that 
windy and you have a lot of waves just makes such a big difference yeah I definitely need to dial in my sensitivity settings on this drone because uh, it is smooth don't get me wrong it's very very smooth but it's unexpectedly smooth so sometimes you don't know what to expect so you need to tweak those settings to your liking fortunately it's very very easy to do and I really like the fact that they give you the chance to um, tweak your settings in all different modes in sport mode in cinema mode and also in normal mode as well so that's something that I definitely plan to to fine-tune depending on uh, the situations where I plan to use those modes normally I don't use cinema mode too much but I plan to to fine-tune it in a way so I can use it a lot more from now on and I'm actually looking around to see the drone yeah I see it now it looks like a giant bird coming down uh, I'm really really impressed by how quickly this drone is going up or going down uh, it picks up speed very very quickly as you can see going from 15 or so meters up to 50 meters is just in a matter of seconds which is a big difference compared to the Autel Evo 2 Pro which I've been uh, using for quite a few months now and I'm kind of used to that speed of ascending and descending uh, but now we have it a lot faster here and excuse my my flying is not very smooth right now I'm just trying to explore and once again I'm not recording anything but let me just do a little bit of a droney because that looks really really nice in my opinion so far I don't see why I wouldn't use uh, this normal color profile it looks very very good um, I'm a huge fan of D-Log but I plan to to seriously test it out in a future video for now though I'm just very happy with what I see on the screen with the normal color profile and also with the automatic camera settings which uh, I don't see a huge change in the way um, the exposure uh, is, is being treated you don't see a sharp movement from darker to lighter um, environment you don't see a big difference in the shutter speed or the ISO of course we're not switching the light as much but still I've used quite a few other DJI drones and I've seen how they treat automatic camera settings and sometimes it's not really realistic to use those settings because they are going to damage your your footage in a way that looks very unprofessional but here Everything is really, really smooth. Those changes in the video are really not very visible. Wow. I'm just really, really mesmerized by the quality of the footage that I see on my screen. Uh, I'm just looking at it right now without even flying, just looking at it. And even those shadows right here in the middle of the screen, just the dynamic range seems great. I will explore manual camera settings in a future video I have a lot of work to do with this drone so I'm really excited and now I think I will land so I can do a couple of product shots give you guys some b-roll uh, that I will use for this video and then I'll meet you with my final thoughts of the Mavic 3 after my very first flight right so you just saw my very first flight with the Mavic 3 after that I flew a little bit more but what I can say with absolute certainty is that I'm really pumped about this drone. It exceeded my expectations in, in terms of smoothness, in terms of flying capabilities. I was really impressed by the speed of this drone, by the fluidity, by the smoothness of just the general flying experience was just great. Now, I have to say that I need to explore a lot more when it comes to um, D-Log mode on this Mavic 3. I really want to film in manual camera settings with some ND filters in D-Log. I want to be able to, to record in different conditions. I know that the ISO is locked when you're using D-Log to 400 or 800. So I want to see how that will 
pan out in different conditions during the daytime. And of course, I am going to perform a night test as soon as I can, probably tomorrow. Uh, so stay tuned for that. If you want to see those videos as soon as they come out on the channel, make sure you're subscribed. From what I've seen after examining the footage, I can say that it looks really, really crispy. The zoom capabilities are not something that I plan to use a lot. However, I do notice sometimes when you're using the zoom features, you have some really crispy shots that are actually very much usable uh, for my type of shooting. Uh, I did enjoy uh, the 4K 120 frames per second. However, I think I will stick to 5K 50 frames per second for the most part, as I don't really feel like I will be shooting something that requires me to slow it down that much, as you tend to lose a little bit of quality when you switch to 4K 120. So 5K 50 frames per second is probably going to be my slow motion speed. And for the rest, I will just stick to 5K 30 frames per second. And finally, I'm really impressed by the standard color profile, which is really usable now. In previous DJI drones, I was just not a fan of the colors. Even on the Mavic 2 Pro, I was just not very happy with the standard color profile. That's the reason why I always, always, always chose uh, D-Log M on the Mavic 2 Pro, but here on the Mavic 3, I think, depending on the occasion, depending on the shooting location, I will use, every now and then, I will use the standard color profile, which to me is, is a surprise. I, I didn't expect it, to be honest. As for the flight time, I didn't really pay too much attention to that. I didn't calculate how much time I spent in the air, but for the fact that I got a lot of footage with this drone, and I didn't use all of my batteries, I can say that I am very, very happy with it. As usual, I will have to test a lot more so I can say more about this drone, but my first impressions are extremely positive, which to be honest, I really wasn't expecting. After watching a lot of other people's reviews, I was ready to be negatively surprised. However, I was very positively surprised by the general feedback of the drone and the general experience that I got after flying with it a couple of times already. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for checking out today's video. Stay tuned for more videos with the Mavic 3 and make sure you're subscribed if you want to see them first as they drop on the channel. Make sure you join my 100,000 subscriber giveaway if you want to have a chance to win some really cool prizes. This is Mike from Drone Supremacy. Take care, everyone, and I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao.